Hi guys and welcome back to SiteEdge where you can see all the real life interesting civil engineering and site engineering stuff and in today's video guys I'm going to show you what I'm doing uh, now after I left the frames and you can see my EDM setup how strange this uh, I'm going to show you in a minute why and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it so let's go so guys it's beautiful weather today uh, it's Saturday so uh, I cannot imagine doing better thing on a sunny Saturday than doing setting out <laughs> have a look guys uh, how I set my EDM here uh, on the pallets with the paving the reason for it is uh, is the waterproofing layer here and uh, you cannot do anything just just to risk to damage it as this is very costly remedials and then guys just uh, looking for stuff like this and all this waterproofing obviously it's not the best surface to set your instrument anyway as this is quite soft let's say but the, the main reason for it is obviously not to damage the waterproof so guys uh, as you can see here we're gonna have some grass here paving planters uh, there so me and my friends sometimes laughing that we are doing in the flower business now but as you can see guys I just marked the lines so uh, some people were asking me how I do it so you can see this uh, obviously and this is gonna be if you're gonna be marking columns if you, whatever you're gonna be marking it's the same really story uh, the surface is different it might be on the concrete so I'm doing the line like this the mark like this and then the second mark there and then I'm using the chalk line uh, chalk it there using the spray as well so that's how it looks guys uh, i showed you this in my previous video how one of my engineers were marking the columns as well so this is very typical guys this is same story whatever you're going to be marking if it's going to be paving if it's going to be curbs if it's going to be grass or whatever that's the same uh, typical job you set your instrument whatever way just make sure it's safe and then uh, do your setting out i'm gonna go uh, downstairs guys uh, show you the ground floor where we lay in the curbs and the paving as well and uh, you let me know in the comments if it's interesting for you if you want to see a little bit more and i'm going to show you the bit as well when we are installing the ducting so i got a autocad now and i'm going to show you how i'm putting the as builds how i'm taking that uh, information there to put the nice as builds you see there there's a build up for the grass there uh, the guys got the station here for the cutting blocks for the cutting paving slabs and the planters here we fill them with the topsoil there's another legs here for the laser and uh, yeah guys let's go down there just to quickly show you maybe it might be interesting uh, for the paving here on the podium we're using the pedestals uh, the, these are regulated 180 to 220 so you're regulating them you see the thread there uh, you regulate the height and guys got the laser there set to the level obviously we make sure we match in the threshold there as this is most important guys sometimes you can have some discrepancies between your datum and uh, the threshold which is already there and all these window seals but obviously guys uh, in these types of work uh, the common sense is most important i would say and once you got your edm set and obviously i got my instrument coordinated here in global grid so i'm using actually the setting out position from the drawing but obviously the building is done so you want to check actually how your lines uh, match in the building and how the building looks with your lines so guys so what i'm gonna do uh, i promise you i'm gonna do nice uh, video about all this uh, redevelopment here in colindale it's typical residential but uh, it's a very big area here and this is a very big project uh, under in the window so if you think about buying one of these uh, flats here you can have a look how it's done uh, we got the engines installed there uh, the barriers installed uh, the grid here ready uh, for the paving this is a permeable paving guys so if you're interested in it uh, I can show you what the build up is. We're using the stone there. Uh, it's stone like this. And then uh, later, this is all wrapped in the terram. And the block paving is put on top uh, on this uh, 50 millimeters of grid. So that's how it looks, guys. Uh, this is actually changing here as this is permeable. This is not a permeable paving here. This is a block paving. You see the tactiles here. Uh, we got the planter. Uh, I'm just going to show you here. We're saving. You can see we put some terram here to save this uh, paving from some dirt and stuff so you see the parking base there is a curb installed uh, this is upstand curb uh, 255 height curb and it's 125 upstand after you're gonna lay your paving so guys uh, that's how it looks really if you're interested uh, in this works as well just let me know guys i'm gonna tell you maybe a little bit more about this setting out all these edgings uh, all these curbs here as this is the road obviously so the level is quite important you see the galleys there so all that road here all that paving the water goes into the galleys so that's how the drains work here 
So that's important thing, guys, uh, in terms of roads and all the stuff. That curb was uh, installed before, actually, where we were doing the previous part of works. And then now we finish off after they finished all that nice building here, the block G. We jumping in here and doing all external works. So uh, that's what I'm doing, guys. Now I'm doing just external works. Uh, do the podium there as well. Little bit of setting out, as you can see here. Uh, all needs to be done, but we got really good crew here, really good lads. So they don't really need uh, a lot of attention. I just need to keep checking and keep providing them information and obviously check the, the important thing. And from time to time, keep the checks. The more checks we're doing, guys, obviously the less mistakes going to be made. This is a simple, simple equation. So always remember this the more checks uh, the better so yeah guys i think that will be all uh, from site today uh, i'm just gonna go now and jump uh, to the office and i'm gonna show you a little bit drawings for this and i'm gonna show you that the uh, as-built survey i done actually and i put it on the cat drawing and i'm gonna show you how to do it you can see the ducks there they're gonna be planters here with the trees nice trees uh, the lamps in there actually i'm gonna jump up there and i'm gonna show you how it's gonna be looking when it's going to be finished as this side going to be looking uh, like mirror image of the other one plus the blog obviously so that's how it's going to be looking guys you see the trees there the road is already live this is a public realm already uh, you see the hoarding behind there's going to be another block so as i said this project is quite big obviously i'm going to show you that look four nines cranes i showed you that before we were working uh, doing the crane bases the capping beam there and now uh, jay reddington took over all this and they doing uh, all the frame but uh, coming back to our road, that's how it's going to be looking, guys. You see the trees, but all the ducts, all the cables later, they have to be run, obviously. So all this stuff is installed before and then obviously surfacing and all the nice finish. So uh, let's go have a look at that uh, as-built as -built survey on the ducts here. We're laying the ducts here, PLV ducts. Uh, as always, I'm going to show you the drawing. And uh, this time I got a cut and I'm going to show you how to put this uh, as-built on the drawing. Oh, my target is low somewhere on the way you see we got a small machine there is 1.9 ton machine uh, i'm going to show you this equipment as well and uh, we're going to be backfilling this now uh, as build is done as builds are very important guys if it's come to the ducts and all the stuff uh, like drainage uh, really guys as builds are the key and uh, this is very important to do it right and i'm going to show you in today's video how to do them right and i'm going to also show you a few bits and pieces we're doing now here on my new job okay guys uh, so this is the first drawing i'm going to show you today this is by the landscape architect and that's the road we were looking just before and i was doing that as built here as well so you can see the parking base paving here uh, everything marked on this drawing uh, we got the lamps so everything in we got a nice legend here uh, everything is explained so it's it's really good obviously guys what we're going to do always we're going to check the revision updated parking sign so uh, revision is for construction and uh, as you could see on my other videos covering the drawings uh, you know how to take the information from it so everything is here obviously we're going to need setting out and all other stuff as well with this drawing so we're going to get complete information and be able to set out on site and provide the information on site i think that will be all in terms of uh, the drawing here covering the road but that's how it looks guys and you could see that in reality i just quickly show you that details there for the road as well uh, yeah so that was a permeable paving uh, there's all other details here uh, but i'm going to show you one so you can see that stone there uh, everything is here explained you got a base course a binder course a minimum 450 stone but this is a road build up uh, that was a foot build up there uh, we looked before as you can see there's a quite big build up here uh, dependent obviously on CBR value as well on the formation here and uh, that's how it looks so it's all information here as well guys and that's how these drawings are looking the details all the stuff so everything is explained guys and everything is on the drone and uh, I'm gonna jump now uh, on that uh, as -build survey so I'm gonna go here uh, I got my drawing here you see the road uh, I already started a little bit and we're gonna transfer our points onto this drawing so I got guys uh, I just copied the DXF file from my uh, instrument you can see this on my other videos uh, covering this as well so i got my points so what i'm going to do now i just take all of this i'm going to as always i think i said it a uh, few more times already Control shift c and i'm going to copy this with a base point zero zero and uh, i'm going to open my drawing here and uh, i'm going to paste it in Control v with a base point which is going to be zero zero and i should see these points 
here yeah and i got a point now so what i can do guys now uh, obviously i want to run the line so we're going to see what that is so what i'm going to do guys now i'm just going to use a polyline and i'm going to run my uh, line from actually i'm going to do this one for instance from the charging point i'm going to use a polyline here and uh, i'm going to run it uh, i know the, that was the middle duct here so you see i got three points and uh, that was the duct covering the charging point so obviously you need to know which one is which one and once you do the as build obviously you can mark it for yourself but because i'm just on site all the time anyway i know which one is where and how we're going to do in that but you can actually instead of plv you can write charging points for instance cp1 cp2 cp3 and the lamp and whatever to make it easy maybe for yourself that that's your way of doing that but uh, Obviously, once uh, you know everything what's happening on site, you should be fine with it. So that's charging point uh, PLV duct. So I'm running this. Where's the middle? That's the middle one, and I'm running this here, and that's going to go later to the feeder pillar here, guys. And then this is then fed with the cables, and that's where the power comes from later. So uh, you see, my line looks like that. So what we can do now? We can actually use uh, the very good option here, which is match property. So MA enter and i guys take this one and i change this line quickly for plv and that's how easy it is and uh, it's really good it's nice to have that line everyone knows this is plv as original drawing showing purple plv duct for one to five and the brown one for 50 millimeter duct so it's very good to keep the same way so the information going to be clear so guys uh, i think that will be all in today's video uh, i think i covered all this stuff uh, and you if you're interested a little bit more about it just leave the comments guys let me know what you want to know and please uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel guys uh, leave the thumbs up if you like it follow my linkedin page as well guys also and you can pop it on my coffee page too so thank you again for watching and see you next time